Okay, guys. Here, uh, Rajinikant, Excel Guru, and here is the query which I'm going to share a solution with you guys. And this query from Telegram Group. So, I'm using only 2010 functions because everyone is uh, easy to apply. Because uh, not only that, the maximum people is not having Microsoft 365. For that reason, I am using Excel 2010 functions. Here is the query. See, I'll zoom a little bit. See, what it is actually. See, here is the names. Think like that. Here is the names and here is the product and here is the quantity or uh, sales amount or whatever it may be, some numbers. So whenever it matches here, the product and the state or else state or a product. Suppose it is states and here is the product. So you have to find the quantity. If 40 is available, this is the city. Assume that this is the city and this is the quantity. So we have to find this quantity, the 40 quantity is in which product, which product is having this, that much quantity. Okay, if I enter at 20 over here, A20 is not available. Let's see, not available. available. Now, A10, here is the city and here is the product, 10 products only. Okay. Now, here I am going to share a solution with you guys. Here, it's so simple. So, first of all, what you need? As per this, we need these two things. As per this city, we need these two things. If it is B, it has to come 20 and 50. If it is C, it has to come 30 and 60. Right. So, we have, first of all, we have to make it like that. Then, we will go forward. See index but to think index and selecting the whole table this thing okay because everything i need from the table the values okay comma and what will be the row number so i'll use the match function to get that roll number comma and here is the thing comma zero so it will pick up the position of a row number that is one in an index table so what about the column if you select the whole table it will ask the column number also okay if you select a range it can uh, automatically to understand that you are near, you want a row or a column but if you are selecting the whole table then you have to mention the column number so what will be the column number here so, I need each and everything. So, I leave it blank like this. Then it will understand that you need the whole column. If you need the whole row, then you have to use a comma over here. Whichever you need, just keep that one and continue with the other match. F9. A, 10 and 40. Done. Still here. I think you understood. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me. 10 and 40 in A. Okay, let's check it out. I'll press enter. Let's check it out. In place of C, enter. What will happen? See, 10 is not available. It is showing 30 and 60. Only and 30 and 60 is there. 10 is not there. Okay, so formula is here. F2. So what I'll do? Equal to this. Okay, this is the first thing. And uh, I press F9 to evaluate and check is there any truths or falses are there. Control Z. Now what I'll do here. One divided by. One divided by. So one divided by zero is divisible by zero error. It's an error. One divided by true equal to 1. 1 divided by false equal to error. That is D by B 0 error. Okay. 
Now I press F9 and click. Okay. Now what I'll do, I press enter and I'll show you in see what are the things are the 60. See what will happen. F2, F9, C. One is available. That is one divided by true. One divided by true. So one. Okay. So we are interested in that one. Right. So here I am going to use an amazing function called a lookup function to look up a maximum number in Excel that is 9.9e .9 e plus 307, comma. Okay, so it will pick up the last occurring number, whatever it may be. It's the last occurring number and coming to end. And what will be the result vector? The result vector will be the whatever we need that is Q or a W. Control shift right arrow, close parenthesis. It's an array function, so there no need to. In uh, tutorial, can also it will work. Okay, lookup can handle array functions. So I press enter W. 60 is available in 60 quantity W products in the city of C. If I enter anything that is B, it will not accept C because in B there is no 60. If I use 50 here, then it will pick up W. Okay, guys, I hope you understood. And if you want more about this, please like, share and subscribe. After subscribe, click on bell icon so that you'll get a notifications whenever I upload a new video regarding Excel. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your support.